Welcome back. If it feels like your mood is always dependent on the mood of others around you, then listen up. It is easy to get sucked into other people's drama, but that can have a very negative effect on your own well-being. Empowerment coach Nicole Eisler is here with ways to stay in your own energy and not take things so personally. Good <gasps> to see you. Is it po It's so possible. <laughs> okay, so starting out though, let's just get into the belief that you really don't have to take on anyone's energy. The segment earlier. It can be on, hard. It can be hard, but that's only because you're not aware. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost belief is I do not have to take on anyone's energy because if you choose your feeling set point for the day, which is one of my favorite tips, how do I want to feel today? What would make me feel that way? Get into that empowered state, right? Starting your day off from a place of intention that I, I make up the little rule, I'm the boss of me, so no one gets to take charge of my mood. Well, because like, you that's hear my people thing, right? all the time say, you're ruining my day, yeah. or I had this interaction and it made me so upset I can't you I, know, shake it. I think the whole thing too that um, you're not, you shouldn't feel that way. There's a lot of information out there that makes you feel like emotions are meant to be controlled. They're actually not, they're meant to be felt. So I like to look at emotions as tools. This is helping me understand my feeling set point, but is it the one that I want? If not, what can I do to move myself to a better feeling place? Instead of feeling powerless, I have no, I mean, gee, I cross my fingers and hope I have a good day, right? It depends on everyone and everything outside of me. I mean, there's plenty out there yeah. to influence. You know, I'm not saying you cannot be, this isn't a fake thing, wipe on a smile and say I'm fine. That's right. the F word, we don't use that. This is allowing your feelings, but but really taking that the, the reins and saying, is this how I want to feel? Mm -hmm. And if not, how do I want to feel? I'm in control of me, right? So bringing that power back inside instead of trying to manage your energy based on what's going on around you. So I have a question kind of outside of this, but then a lot of people would say, well, how do you maintain a place of empathy in life? Because a lot of times when you're in a place of empathy, you're feeling someone else's feelings. Correct. So being an empath, I'm a sensitive, yes. mm -hmm. right? And so the, the more sensitives, those are the people that I tend to work with because I get right. it. It's, um, I look at it as, <laughs> as silly as this sounds, if I were to try to step into your shoes, I don't have any control outside of myself. So if I'm more focused on you, your feelings, I'm not focused on my feelings. You do actually get to be selfish in this sense mm. because I can't help you if I'm going down with, like if you're in yeah. a bad mood or you're upset or you had something tragic happen, I'm stronger if I stay in my energy and my power and help you from that space instead of joining you, right? So I'm gonna stay high level and raise you up with me instead of you go know, down with correct. you, as you said. Correct. Yeah, right. So that makes perfect sense. It's okay sense. to feel what others feel. That's what really makes you emotionally gifted, mm -hmm. right? So that helps you connect with others at their level, but then stay strong and rise them up. That's that's the way I. I read a book great. once. I'm sure you're aware of what it was, and it was it was all about. It's not personal. It's about the other person, not about you. So one of my favorite four agreements. The four yeah, the four agreements. Book I have yeah, every it. client read um, yes. is do not take anything personally. It's really everyone is having their own experience. Mm -hmm. If you are a sensitive, you tend to think that, what did I do? What they seem upset because you're right. feeling that or you're not understanding. Maybe someone's worried about something. Maybe they're worried about their son and they're having a little more anxiety and you're picking up on that. But really everyone's having their own experience. So if you can observe them and stay in your own energy, it helps you assess from a better space than thinking it's about you. Like, yeah. I love to think everything's about me, but only the good things, okay? <laughs> so, but it's like, but it's not. Attest to this, okay? But it's not, and so I can observe and help them from an empowered state instead. And I, I like that because your, your statement there is nothing that other people do is because of you. And Correct. it's the same thing. Nobody can make you feel anything. They say, they talk about that in arguments a lot. You should never say, you know, you're making me feel. No, you feel right. something because you're being triggered inside. That's right. your own feelings. And also saying, I feel mm -hmm. instead of you are or are not. So if I'm really focused on what or someone says. Or you always. Says, correct, yeah. correct, right? <laughs> no one always anything. Okay. But if we're really focused on what someone said, didn't say, did, did not do, where's my power in that? There's mm -hmm. no, I don't like that feeling, right? The, the worst feeling I think is to feel out of control, right? Again, emotions are not meant to be controlled. We can feel them, allow them, honor them, and then move ourselves to a better feeling place by choosing a better feeling thought. That's, that's what we're getting at. You say make mindset work as vital as breathing. Oh, it's not a one time, like I love, I love setting a morning routine. It's something I work with my clients on, but just because you did your journaling this morning 
And then you go on social media and someone posted about the president and how awfully and someone posted about this and then someone next to you at the at your coworkers going out. Mindset work is ongoing. I always tell my clients, I know at first it seems tedious, kind of clunky, you have to check in, you have to really do it. It's every day, all day. I always yeah. say notice what you notice, then adjust. Notice what you notice and adjust as needed, right? Sometimes it's, hey, this is awesome, I feel amazing. I'm all for that, let's magnify and amplify it. But if not so much, <laughs> then what do I need to do to move to a better feeling place? Because life happens. Yeah. You don't have control out there. You only have control in here. That's where I, I like to live inside out. Well, and I like that you say get in the habit of living above, down, inside out. Correct. What does so that mean? Above, down, stay connected. We all want to, you know, when you feel alone, you feel isolated is a lot of what was mentioned earlier. And, and actually, the reason that I do the work I do, my mother has mental illness. So I made it my life's work to show people how to use their emotions holistically. If you're not feeling connected to something bigger than us. Correct. I really feel alone, but instead I can feel one with, with everyone. I can feel one with the universe. I can feel one with, yesterday I was sitting in my backyard. It was one with nature and, right? So I receive messages from above down yep. and inside out. I can now share my gifts. The worst feeling in the world is for someone to feel like they have a message or something they want to share and no one hears them, mm -hmm. right? They're not heard, they're not understood. And so when we live that above down, inside out, that's magnifying and sharing your message with the world, which is why I do what I do, right? Is to get that out and help others do that. It's no one should feel isolated or alone or yeah. misunderstood or there's, there's, we all have our gifts. I yes. love it. Mm -hmm. Nicole, thank you. Nicole's an empowerment coach. You can find out more about her by going to our website, themorningblend.com.